A generative adversarial network, or GAN in short, is a deep learning algorithm where two neural networks compete with each other in a game. The generator model is able to generate replicas from a given real-world dataset. The discriminator model takes an example from the original dataset or a generated one and estimates if it is real or generated. Both models, the generator and the discriminator, are trained until the output by the generator produces perfect replicas, i.e. the discriminator cannot tell the difference if the example is real or generated. GANs have been very successful and are mostly known for producing realistic photographs so that even humans cannot tell the difference between real or generated pictures. For DrumGAN, a generative adversarial network was applied to the task of audio synthesis of drum sounds. DrumGAN has been trained with 300,000 samples of kick, snare, and cymbal sounds. This GAN is now a part of Backbone version 1.5 to generate drum sounds for using in your door. By clicking the new button, DrumGAN generates a random sound based on the dosage of the kick, snare, and cymbal sliders. Each time you make a change to one of the sliders, DrumGAN will synthesize a sample that replaces the previous one on the currently selected layer. By activating Play Sample After Changes, you will hear the generated sample instantly. It's advised to start with a single instrument, with the slider at the mid position, and the other two at the very left position. At the mid position, you have the standard instrument. Below the mid position, the results become more random, and above the mid position, the results become more uniform. If you set the control to the very right position, you always have similar results. You can change the kick, snare, and cymbal sliders to taste, or simply click the dice that randomizes the slider amounts until you find the sound you wish. The Variation Depth slider and the Generate New Variation button allow you to produce further diversity without changing the original set of instruments that has been set with the slider amounts. For the Generate New Variation button to show an effect, the Variation Depth must be greater than its minimum. Set the Variation Depth slider and click the Generate New Variation button to receive random variations. After pressing the Generate New Variation button, the Variation Depth slider will produce different outputs when adjusting it. You can return to the original sound by setting the Variation Depth slider fully left. Alternatively, you can press Undo to return to a previous generated sound that you liked. The maximum number of undo steps on the option page must be high enough. Furthermore, by clicking the Analyze button, a replica of the sample that is in the currently selected layer will be generated. The kick, snare, and cymbal sliders are set accordingly, and the variation depth is reset. This function is ideal if you want to create a sound from a real sample, but slightly different, and with the possibility to add diversity using the variation depth slider. To keep computation time low, the samples in the original dataset had to be mono and shorter than one second. This is the reason why DrumGAN produces only mono samples with a certain length. And this is where the layering techniques and resynthesis capabilities of Backbone come to play. Backbone is perfect for creating stereo versions and playing samples as long as you wish. Check out the other Backbone tutorials for more information.